Shearwater dive computers aren't for you. I have a Shearwater Prodix AI. Um, I bought the computer about six and a half years ago. Absolutely zero problems with the thing. It's a wonderful computer. It's done amazing uh, work for me. I had no issues with it until I did. So what issue did I have? It was the right button. The right button of the computer stopped working. I couldn't input anything. Nothing was working. Uh, it would still turn on when I went to start my dives, but I couldn't change gases if I was doing tech dives. I couldn't check my dive logs. Um, I couldn't turn it on. I couldn't turn it off. And I'm here in Bali. I thought it was probably going to be a very expensive fix. I only have like $3.50, so it's hard. So I contact Shearwater, and Shearwater sends me to the closest service center, which is Bali Dive Shop down south in Senor. So I contact them. They tell me to send them their, my computer. I tell them, hey, look, I'm doing dives. I, I need my computer. What am I supposed to do? And they found a loaner for me to use. They sent me a Shearwater Prodix AI, and I sent them my computer. After a couple of days, they told me that there was nothing they could do with it, that they had to send it back. Now, I know that there is a service center for this area of the world in New Zealand. For some reason, it did not go to New Zealand. Um, it, it took a trip back home. It went back to Canada. And then I did not hear anything for about two months. And in those two months, I was trembling in my fins, scared of what it was going to cost me to get my shear water fixed. Well, two months goes by and I get a message from Bali Dive Shop saying, hey, my computer's back. Great. And what is it going to cost me? One million dollars. Well, the only cost to me was 750,000 rupiah, which is right around 47 US dollars. It's the handling fee. So Shearwater fixed my computer, or did they? And all I paid was $47. Well, this is what I got back. I did not send them a box. I just sent them my computer. Well, as you can see, it looks brand new, right? So let me slide this off. Don't need that anymore. And here we have a computer. We have the really tiny Shearwater manual. I think it's meant for like elves or I don't know, some other mythical creature that's really tiny. Because I'm not reading that. But it's all online, so it doesn't matter. That, that, that can go there, too. We also have the, what some people call a suicide clip, also known as a carabiner that Shearwater sends. I got the battery changing tool, which I did not have for mine anymore, so it's great to have that one. I got spare O-rings. Basically, all the things that you get when you buy a brand new Shearwater. A little biodegradable bag that all this comes in. But the most important part is the computer. Wait a minute, I sent it with straps. That's okay, because I also got new straps. I got bungee if I want to use the bungee. I actually use the straps. I like them better than the bungee. And I have the Shearwater stickers as well as the battery leakage card. So basically what I got is a brand new computer. You can see that there is this mock-up of the computer on here and the screen. Mine had a scratch on it. I was one of those stupid people who took the screen protector off because I thought it was plastic that needed to come off uh, and eventually got a scratch on the glass. So now I have a computer with no scratches, uh, brand new as far as I know, and now obviously all my settings are gone. My dive log is gone. I don't care. I put about, I mean, just under 3,000 dives on my Shearwater. Right about 3,000 dives. And no issues, like I said, at all with it. The product is just bulletproof for the most part. Um, I did have an issue getting the battery compartment out. Uh, coin works really well. Don't use a screwdriver. I've done that. Only bad things can happen if you use a screwdriver. Use a coin or the actual tool that comes with the product. Do not lose this. Which, it's got a little hole here. You can put it under key ring so you never lose it. I lost mine. I don't always think clearly on the surface.
Underwater, I'm great. On land, hmm, not so much. So I got to go back through and set all my settings here, which is fine. But let's, let's talk about why I said that the Shearwater computer is not for you. Well, there's an argument online that anytime someone asks what computer they should buy, people say, oh, buy the Shearwater, get a Shearwater. And then the other half of the crowd says, not everybody needs to spend that kind of money on a Shearwater. Those people suck. I don't exactly remember how much the Predix AI is, but I'm going to put it right down here somewhere. And I'll put you the actual price of the Shearwater computer on there. The Predix AI, the, specifically the one I'm using. Does everyone need a Shearwater? No, you don't. Like when we train people here at Prana Dive, we always look at it from beginning with the end in mind. Where's your diving possibly going to go? Maybe you are going to go to tech. Maybe you're not sure and there's a possibility you want to go into tech. Or maybe you want to dive rebreathers one day. Or maybe none of that's an option, but you just want a great computer. The Shearwater is a great computer because let's look at what just happened with me, right? What company, and I'm not just talking dive computers, I'm talking any product in the world, that you buy the product and six and a half years later, there's a problem with it and they fix it for free and just give, they don't even fix it, they give you another one. And name of one company that does that. Go ahead, I'll wait. TVs, cameras, anything that you can think of, that does not happen. So if you hate amazing customer service, then Shearwater is definitely not the computer for you. If you love amazing customer service, that is why you do spend the money on a Shearwater. It's a nice big screen, easy to read, only two buttons so it's not confusing, and gives you a ton of different ways to set this up. I actually dive side mount almost exclusively, and I dive with transmitters. So on mine I have transmitter one on the left, transmitter two on the right, so it's my left cylinder and my right cylinder. My gas is right there. I can dive this as my backup computer when I'm diving the rebreather. I can dive it during tech and do all the gas changes that I want. If I want to go to a hypoxic open circuit, I can do that with this computer. There's nothing that this can't do. Whereas if I were to buy a cheaper computer that maybe is only a nitrox computer or a three gas computer, it is limited to what you can do. So if you decide to get into different types of diving, you might have to buy another computer anyway. So why not just start out with the best? I do want to state that this video is not sponsored by Shearwater. They didn't pay me to say any of this stuff, but they're not sponsoring this video. They didn't tell me what to say. If you would like to sponsor this video, Shearwater, message me. But this is just my personal experience with Shearwater. The dive computer has been bulletproof until it wasn't. And I got another computer for the handling fee, which 47 US dollars to send it to Canada from Bali and back is incredibly cheap. Um, that was kind of shocking to me when I got that bill, especially since, like I said, I was quaking and my friends worried how much this was gonna cost me. So in order to wrap things up, I've got a new Shearwater. And I can't wait to get in the water with it. I'm super excited. I just uh, need to set up my transmitters on it and I will be ready to go. So if you're looking at a dive computer, and you like good customer service, this is the computer for you. Or the brand, Shearwater Research. They make the Taric, the Perdix, the Peregrine. There's a bunch of different computers they've come out with now. Uh, I do love the Perdix AI because it does everything. Again, if you hate amazing customer service, just don't buy Shearwater. If you like good customer service, Shearwater Research. I am Turk. I am the managing partner and head instructor here at Prana Dive in Ahmed Bali. Make sure you like and subscribe to our videos. Now, if you have any kind of comments, questions, or maybe you have suggestions for videos you want to see us do, let us know in the comments below. We'll be happy to make those for you now that I have some assistance with uh, Mihalina, who you guys have seen in our Instagram videos. She'll be helping us with content, and she's actually going to be on this side of the camera soon, so you don't have to look at my ugly mug anymore. Until next time. Dive safe.